Hi, Teffel Dude here, and today I'm going to show you how to remove this beige background from this PDF and make a white background using Foxit Editor Professional. Notice also that the characters are very blurry, while on the edited version they are crystal clear. I'm also going to be showing you this other PDF where there is a very dark blue background and the words are clearly illegible. However, on this one, the words are clearly legible and the background has become white. So without further ado, let's open up the Foxit PDF editor. Now, before we begin, I just want to alert you to the price factor. As you can see, Foxy Editor for a one-time fee is 176 euro. They do offer subscription fees, but the one-time fee is the best. However, if you look at PDF Exchange Editor, which I used in a previous video to edit a document, it's only 52 euros. However, when you see the power of the Foxy Editor, you might be compelled to purchase that and I'm going to show you a little comparison once I've finished editing with Foxit how PDF does it but doesn't do it as well. Once you've opened up your document, click on the tab on the left in order to show the pages. We're only going to use the home button and the convert button. Now on the home button you do see this quick recognition tool but don't click on that ever while it will recognize all the text in all the pages, it's much better to go to convert and choose recognize text because there you can choose the current file or multiple files. But you can also choose particular page order in case you just want to recognize one page. So I'm going to recognize all the pages because as you can see, I've only got four pages. So I'll say all the pages. Choose your language and leave it on this settings. Make sure it's on editable text at the bottom and 600 DPI is the best. And that's it. Simply press OK. And there, it doesn't look like much has happened, but if we were to zoom in now, you can see the text has got a lot sharper. And if we check the other page, yes. And now to simply remove the background, all we do, go back to the home page, click on edit object or edit text. For us, we want to edit object. So let's go back to the home page, edit object, click on the page, and click the delete button. And you can see it's deleted the page and you've got this nice kind of dark brown words on the text. However, notice when we do this one, the picture disappears with it. So how can we fix that, you ask? Well, I'm gonna show you. Let's just remove the other pages first delete delete you can see it took the line with it as well but who cares about lines let's go back to this page what you can do in foxit that is a little different in pdf exchange editor as we'll see soon you can right click and choose edit object and what occurs then I'll zoom out. This is the image I was deleting. So you've got all these tools at the top and you may want to open this arrow on the right hand side here so you can see more of what's going on. What I tend to do is choose the color dropper and just choose white. And then I use the paint bucket. Now at the moment, notice when I clicked on the paint bucket, there's the color. 
when I clicked on the paint bucket, it went to 32. So that's the level it's going to take away the color at. So I'm going to click now. And you can see it's taken away most of the brown. If you want to remove any more, you can just simply click on the door, click on his jacket, and it's removed a bit more. I'm going to go back to show you what happens if you make the tolerance too high. Oh, maybe that's not so bad. Maybe you prefer that. But let's go back to the original 32. I think that was quite nice. And all you have to do is click save. Okay, and now it's saved. Should you wish to make this into a black and white image, there are tools here where, watch again, right click, edit object. There are tools here where you can click filter. So you can have black and white or gray or reverse colors or you can have this kind of yellow greenish color it's quite nice so you've got all these to choose from embossed look oh that looks quite nice maybe i'll choose that one and now you have a clear background with a nice image and it's as simple as that your book is now done if we click off i'll just click that page close and open it again and you can see the image is with the white background and you simply save it and that's it there fox editor i'll save it there and it's done now once it's done you may not like the color of the letters you might think that i want them a different color it is a bit tricky with Foxit because you'd have to click on either each individual word oh by the way you can change these text words in case something is spelled wrong you can like here you've got one love you that should be I love you you can either go edit object and go into the individual box and put in the I or let me just make that backwards or you can go edit text and it will edit the whole of the box you see it edits the whole text so you can go into that uh, I pretend here and just click I and that's it. So you can edit the text as well. Should you want to change the color, click out this little arrow and you can see that the text is this color. So in order to change it, you would have to, so you probably have to press control A, change it all to black and there it is and it has been changed. But you'd have to do that for every page, which could become a bit monotonous. I think there is a way to do it, but mm, not really. Most of the time it will be produced in, in black and white. Actually, let me now show you on PDF Exchange Editor why it's not so good there. If I use the PDF Exchange Editor and I select the... OCR page and here I'm going to choose edit text and images and all of these boxes and I'll click it. Now watch what happens when we do it through this PDF editor. Okay the text is nice and sharp which is good but watch what happens when I remove edit the image. I'll click delete and delete again. And you see it, it leaves you with this kind of beige background, which means in order to clean it up, I have to kind of move this out of the way. Then I have to highlight those boxes, delete them. You know, I have to do it this way. It's a bit annoying. And then I just move the text back and you can see that probably should be where the six is. Now, that's all well and good, but I don't want to have to do that every time. So that's why it's good to use 
Foxit editor, much better. So let's have a go at this Driscoll Britain and watch how wonderfully it does this job. So let's put it to the first page and we're going to uh, go to home. Then we're going to click on convert, recognize text, current file, all pages and go. And now once again, we're just going to go to home, click edit object and delete the object. However, you notice we want to keep some of those objects. So if I right click edit object, I can simply use the color, the bucket and simply do that. Now there is a, I'm not sure I want it to be that bad. So maybe I'll lower the tolerance so I could do that, lower the tolerance a bit to maybe 15. And maybe that's enough. Let's save that, see what happens. That's not so bad. Now this edge, this thick edge, you can get rid of that by when you do edit object. You can say, well, actually, click the select tool, make it square. And you can highlight that part and simply either use a brush tool or the paint bucket tool. Uh, let's use the brush tool and you can make the brush. You have to click this out. You can make the brush quite thick. See, see, I'm painting with the brush. So you can make it as big as anything because it's only going to paint in that square. So there you go. So I've, I've painted out the square. It's all very nice. And then I will maybe paint a bit more. Let's click the select tool, click somewhere else, click on the paintbrush and start brushing. Start brushing here. Um, anywhere else you want to brush, maybe here and here and click save. And look at that. That's wonderful. Look at that. That is nice. And it will do the same for all of these, except here it removed my uh, picture. So you just go to edit object, paint bucket again, make sure we have it on 32, 32. and there and there. That's enough. Save. And look at that. Isn't that wonderful? And the same for the others. You do the same thing. Here you may notice, oh no, I've lost my um, images of those pictures. Well, what you can do is if you have the original still, let's open up the original. So when you've opened the document, go to that picture, which is what we wanted. And in the home button, you can click on a snapshot. Okay, go back to the other document and simply edit paste. You can right click and paste do that way. Now you might think, uh Oh, that's a bit too big. Now make sure you hold the shift button as you do this to make it smaller. Hold shift and it will be perfect for you. And there we can zoom in and see, okay, that's our image. That's what we want. And then you can simply right click and edit that with the bucket tool once again. And you can see here, bucket tool, you can even click in the center and click save. And there's your image. Perfect. You can flatten it as well. I think there's a, a button here for flattening the image. So if you go to organize, you can simply flatten it. Press this button flatten and just say all pages. Ta-da! And you can see that image is no longer movable. So that's it for now for the Foxy editor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out my video where I use the Foxy exchange editor because it's 
cheaper and there is a loophole where you can actually use the free version to do this legally. But hope you've enjoyed the Foxit editor video. See you on the next video.